What's happening, everybody? I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, now officially sponsored by Caesar Sportsbook. Check out the link in the description of this video to find a special offer. All new accounts signing up at Caesar Sportsbook. Deposit your money, make your first bet, and Caesars will match your very first bet up to $1,001. That's for all new account holders coming from Picks and Parlays. Don't forget to check that out. Now it's time for total chaos. I've got Cameron Ross, expert handicapper from Picks and Parlays. How's it going, friend? It's going, you know, just uh, just making it through, getting it done. Getting her done. That's all you can do, friend. Sean Austin, one of my longtime morning woodies. How are you doing, bud? You ready to take on one of the champs? Let's get it. I'm ready. Let's get it. All right. So these guys are going to go through five NBA, no, four NBA games that happen. Usually it's five. We don't have numbers for five. So we're going with four uh, for Friday, December the 17th. They're going to tell me if they like them to go over or under. And whoever gets the most correct is the winner. We're going to start out with the Spurs at the Jazz. The total's 223 and a half. Cam Ross, what do you think about this one? Yeah, you know, this is one of the best teams in the league, one of the best teams in the West in the Utah Jazz against a team that just doesn't seem to have found their way thus far this season. But one similarity with both of these teams is over their last five games, both of them have been scoring machines. You know, the the Jazz have scored one uh, 120 plus in their last two games. They scored 130 uh, recently as well. The Spurs are scoring somewhat. The biggest thing with the Spurs is they're getting over 100 points per game, but they're giving up 120, 130. They're giving up a lot. I think that trend's going to uh, continue here. I do think the Spurs will get enough points to help this total, but I think the Jazz are going to run it up, and this one's going to go over. Over we go. Sean Austin, do you agree or disagree with this one? I agree. I think the Jazz I think the Jazz are going to put a, put a hurting on the Spurs. Um, Popovich is a great coach and all that. If if I'm right on that, I'm pretty sure I am. Um, but I just think the Jazz are just too good, and they're probably going to cover the spread too is my guess. But I know Allie isn't crazy about laying double-digit on NBA. No, I'm not crazy about laying double-digit on anything ever. Anything. <laughs> That's anything. Right. Anything. Anything. See, he he agrees with me, Sean. Sean fights. <laughs> LSU covered. <laughs> I like the pick on Alley. That's all it is. It's in Houston like or Texas. Shoot. No, it's an inside joke, Sean and I. We banter with this back and forth. Um, okay, Sean, you're going first on this one. Lakers are at the T Wolves. Two twenty four is the number there. Over or under? I like Lakers under on team total. I'm pretty sure they're going to come around one six, something like that. I just feel that the Lakers are having so much trouble, but they still can't stop anybody. And the Timberwolves can can be hot. So I'm going to say it's going to go over. I think the Lakers score enough, but the Timberwolves are going to my, – my feelings are going to blow them out. I'm over. Ooh, I love when Lakers get blown out. I'm excited about this. Okay, Cam, what do you think about it? Yeah, I'm going to go the other way. The, uh, the Lakers have won three in a row, but they're, they're winning with their defense. You know, they, they can score the ball, but they're they're older. But the Lakers are big, they're smart, they're long. I think they're going to get in get in tight on the young Timberwolves. I think they're going to try to slow this game down, keep it uh, – keep the transition – keep the transition low. LeBron and AD both are day-to-day in this game. I'm not saying that doesn't mean they're not going to play, but, you know, they may not go as much. And the Lakers have just played. So, you know, again, you know, the age – but uh, I just I just think this one's going to go under. All right. So we disagree. That means we're probably going to have a winner here. Grizzlies are at the Kings, 225, Cameron. What say ye? What say me? Yeah, you know, the Grizzlies, they're playing well. You know, to say it lightly, they are playing well. The Kings are not. But the Kings never really play well. And uh, I do I do that. think you said what? <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, just, just in case anyone was wondering. But, uh... This is again, you know. I do think the Grizzlies are gonna they're gonna win this game. I think the Grizzlies are gonna score, but I don't think the Kings are gonna score enough. The King, the Kings' offense is so up and down and wishy washy. I think the Grizzlies are gonna be able to uh, get in on them. And if the Kings want to have a chance in this game, they're gonna have to stop the Grizzlies. I'm gonna take this game under. All right, Sean, what do you think about it? 
I'm a fade Cam Ross. I'm going on over. The Grizzlies blow people out. They get blown out. The Kings have been blowing people out, or they've been getting torched. I think it's too many points are going to be on the board. It's going to go over. Okay. Simple. Whoa, shoot. Sorry, I hit a funny button. It's fine. Everything's under control. Don't worry. Um, okay, so Hornets are at the Trailblazers. 228. Sean, finish us off. I think the public likes the Hornets. I think the public – you know, kind of does whatever they want on the Trailblazers. The public's going to go over. Uh, that's my feeling. I'm going to fade the public, and I'm going to take it under. Under we go. All right. Cam, what do you think? You're not the public. I'm not the public, but I am going to agree. You know, no Ish Smith, no LaMelo Ball for Charlotte, no C.J. McCollum for Portland. You know, no LaMelo, no C.J. That's going to take 40 actual points off the off the board, but Melo, 8-9 assists, C.J., he, uh, he gets his teammates involved. Those two out could potentially take 50 to 60 points are just off the board. So, yeah, I'm going to go under as uh, both teams have been mediocre thus far this season, and Portland is really struggling. And I just don't think their offense is going to wake up in this game. It's hard to be a Portland Trailblazers fan. It really is. It's just a or day. Just not be one. Just don't be one. <laughs> just leave. Um, what do you want yeah. from me? I like them. I like them. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going to do a little bit of a recap here. If you're looking for me, I'm Allie Burns. Find me on Twitter at plus money, honey. If you're looking for premium plays and packages, well, let me direct you to my friend, Cameron Ross here. Cam, how are things going over at picks and They're going, you know, uh, everything's going. It's busy, busy right now. Uh, even though college football is winding down, my favorite time of year is college basketball is winding up. Duke's playing right now for anybody Duke, wondering. Baby. Duke, baby. Baby. <laughs> Duke, baby. You're lucky I don't have the ball right here. I'd be sure. <laughs> but, uh, I'm in the room. Don't worry about it. She's, in the, she's in the Duke room. But, yeah. But, no, you know, it's my favorite time of year. There's lots of picks. Uh, the NBA's going. The NBA's getting heavy. There'll be NBA. There's going to be NFL on both days. There's going to be some bowl games this weekend. There's going to be a lot. Yeah. Lots of great stuff. Find Cam at I underscore am underscore Cam 20 on Twitter and find him up on the leaderboards over at picksandparlays.net. While you're there, use the promo code BOWL, B-O-W-L, saves you 20% off the entire site, including that guy's picks right there. Premium plays and packages. And Sean Austin, welcome to the jungle, baby. Welcome to Total Chaos. Yeah, let's it's your get first it. time in the ring. You did great. How you doing, friend? I'm good. I'm actually in the theater about to go check out uh, Spider-Man. It's my favorite Marvel uh, superhero of all time. I love it. I'm super excited. Cam, I think we uh, put on a good show, and good luck, man. Good luck yes. to you. Too. Enjoy yes. the movie. Great, Great job uh, for both you. of you. So quick recap. Spurs of the Jazz, 223 and a half. They both say it is going over. Lakers at the T-Wolves, 224. Sean says over. Cam says under. Grizzlies are at the Kings, 225. Cam's going under. Sean's going over. And the Hornets at the Blazers, 228. They are both taking that game under. That's another round of Total Chaos NBA. Thank you both for joining me. And like I always say, may the best capper win. Bye, guys. Let's get it. See you later.